Zimbabweans are being oppressed by the evil regime. Zimbabweans are being oppressed by the evil government of Zimbabwe. They arrested a journalist a few, a few days ago. They arrested a journalist in Zimbabwe. I'm sorry to say this. I, know I don't speak about politics. I don't like speaking about things. But this, I have to talk about it. This is what happened. A few days ago, they arrested a journalist in Zimbabwe. The journalist was exposing all the corruption that was happening in the government. Oh my God. And as the journalist was exposing corruption, how I saw a picture of a man who was being charged for corruption standing next together to the journalist who was arrested for exposing corruption. How do you arrest a man who is exposing corruption together with the corrupt politicians and you lock them up in the same prison? How, how do you justify that? So we have got Balak, who is the king, the president, who is now going to bed together with the prophet called Balaam. And they are sleeping in the same bed at night. So Balaam cannot stand and speak against the evil regime because Balaam is benefiting from the evil government. So many prophets in Africa cannot speak against uh, 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 evil African presidents because they know that they are benefiting at night from the evil government uh, 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 that they are submitting to. For example, in Zimbabwe, as we speak right now, only one person in Zimbabwe that I know, one, has managed to stand up as a preacher to speak against the evil regime and the evil government of Zimbabwe. The truth is the truth. The government of Zimbabwe is evil. It is an evil government that is oppressing its own people and the prophets of Zimbabwe, they do not have the power and the authority to speak against the evil government of Zimbabwe because they are benefiting from the evil system of Zimbabwe. If things do not change in the nation of Zimbabwe, the president of Zimbabwe, who is the current president right now in Zimbabwe, is going to die a very painful death. Because of the oppression that they are putting on the people of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a Christian nation. Zimbabwe is a Christian country. Zimbabwe belongs to God. All this evil oppression that is going on in the country of Zimbabwe, why arrest a, an honest a individual who is helping you to expose criminals? Because you are afraid that even your names as those high politicians in Zimbabwe will also be exposed. That is why you are now arresting the poor guy. Release that poor journalist. He has a family to take care of. He's earning a living out of an honest uh, whatever that he's doing in journalism. Release him. When the president of Zimbabwe got into power, he said, we are going to arrest all the corrupt politicians. Now there is a man who is helping you to expose corruption. You are arresting him. So what do you stand for? What do you stand for? What do you stand for? What does the government of Zimbabwe stand for? What do you stand for? Are you in power to empower people? Or you are in power to kill the people? Anybody who stands against corruption dies. It does not only happen in Zimbabwe, it happens everywhere. It's only in South Africa where you, you have freedom of speech. It's only in South Africa where you can speak against the, uh, 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 expose whatever you want to expose as long as it is corruption and they will just allow you to leave. In Zimbabwe, expose one corrupt politician. Before you know it, you'll be locked up in the prison. The same corruption is happening in the body of Christ. The prophets of God, the prophets of God, small g, are going to bed, sleeping together with the corrupt systems of Africa. Go to Nigeria, you will see a prophet building a big 500,000 seater church. And the church, millions and millions of runs are being spent, millions and dollars, millions of dollars are being spent to build a church so that they can accommodate 500,000 poor people. It doesn't make sense. And you come out and say, it is the house of the Lord that we are building. It doesn't make perfect sense. How do you spend hundreds and millions of U.S. dollars building, uh, it, it, it is happening in Nigeria. They are building auditoriums that take up to 500,000 people in Nigeria. 
Hundreds of thousands of dollars are being spent. Where is that money coming from? It is coming from the poor people's offerings that they put on the altar. At the end of the day, the church accommodates 500,000 poor people. We have got nothing. No food, no income, no nothing. All they get every Sunday is promises of good life that will never come. Promises of a good life that they will never see. Promises of a good life that they will never taste. Prophets for sale. These are false prophets. They are charlatans. They are jackals. 